This video is about using a uh, fuel mounted, fuel rail mounted um, from Elder Block on the Pro 4 First system as opposed to using a uh, adjustable firewall or fender well mounted um, fuel pressure regulator. I think it'll be a cleaner job. I changed my mind on what I'm doing here so um, I'm going to install this and uh, show you uh, how I did it. This is what I have been using. I didn't know about um, the fuel rail mounted one when I uh, put this uh, build together. So uh, this is what I've been using as a fuel pressure regulator. It's adjustable. It works fine. But as you can see, it's taken up a lot of room on the firewall. And uh, it doesn't look as clean as I think it should or um, the approach that I'm going for. Okay, here's how I uh, ran the fuel lines. I uh, used the, uh, I think they're Earl adapters from, uh, one's a 14 uh, for the uh, return line to uh, 14 uh, O-ring uh, lock to uh, uh, AN, and the other one is a uh, 16, I believe, uh, O-ring uh, seal uh, to uh, 6 uh, AN adapters. I'm pretty sure I got them from Earl's. Then I ran the lines up here like uh, like this up through here and then um, I took advantage of this uh, little shoe thing here. Let me get some light on that. I ran underneath of this uh, heat shield. Put some heat shielding around the uh, fuel lines. 6 a.m. fuel lines and then ran them underneath the seat shield here. Uh, just keep them away from the exhaust and threw this up to the back of the motor. Right there, right up there. The back of the motor. And then uh, plug right into the back of the uh, fuel rails on the uh, ProFlow 4. And uh, when I run this uh, heat shield, I like to use these stainless steel um, zip ties to uh, make sure that the uh, Velcro stays uh, closed on the ends. That seems to help a little bit as the stuff gets hot and expands and contracts and goes through heat cycles. Here's where the uh, fuel, fuel pressure regulator was mounted. Um, it's nice and clean now. You can see the uh, no fuel lines all going all over the place to get to that um, adjustable regulator. And then it, um, there's the uh, uh, pressure line coming from the fuel pump, and then it runs across the fuel rail down this side. Then your pressure regulator actually goes on the uh, return side, and that holds uh, the fuel pressure in the rail and uh, lets go of the fuel that it doesn't need. It does a couple things. It really cleans up the underhood appearance. And it also will uh, cycle your fuel so it doesn't get heat soaked or heat saturated sitting in the um, fuel rails. Uh, so uh, I thought it was a good idea. It cleaned it up, made it look a lot better. Um, so you don't have to uh, have a bunch of hose running everywhere, a bunch of fuel line. And now you don't even see the fuel lines. So uh, it looks a lot better like that. I think and um, real easy to mount. Um, one tip is uh, before you uh, install the uh, fuel pressure regulator um, put your hose on there, your 6AN hose on it um, otherwise uh, it'll be pretty hard to get to where that 10 millimeter bolt right there is relatively easy to get to um, to tighten and, and loosen so you can just slide it right in the end of the uh, fuel rail makes it a lot easier to uh, um, tighten it up. Alright, thanks for watching.